What are we making today, Ma? We're making chip, chicken livers with onion gravy, and you make sure before you cook them, and you got to wash them real good and get all these membranes out, all of this off. You got to cut all of this off. This is a clean one. That's a clean one. Yes. That's the clean one. Okay, yes. what's a dirty one look like? This is what a dirty one look like. This is a chicken liver? Mm-hmm. Okay. This is chicken liver, this is what the dirty. You want to make sure you get all of this out. Okay. Okay. We'll take all of this out. Take that membrane out. That's called a membrane. Yeah. Okay. You want to check it and make sure it doesn't have any of that membrane on it, because you want to get all of that out. Otherwise, it'll be chewy, and you don't want that. So that's a nice one now. That looks good. Yep. That one looks good. Here's another one. You see all of this in here. You want to make sure. You get all of that out. Okay. Pull all of that off. Let's see, that's nice and Yeah, that's nice, nice and, and clean. clean. Yep. That's so that little right. fat right there is okay. Yeah, nope. We'll no, take that out too? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. So take anything that looks Yes, you know. That's sticking out. Mm -hmm. All right. Not all of us eat liver and know That's how it. clean liver. Yeah, okay. we can eat it, but we don't know how clean it. We have salt. So after you wash all the chicken liver, then you add salt. How many spoons is that? One, one? teaspoon. One teaspoon salt. Mm -hmm. And how much pepper? One black teaspoon, pepper. One teaspoon. One of black teaspoon pepper. black pepper. A lot of people doesn't like garlic, so if they don't like garlic, they don't have to put it in it. Okay, so you're putting holes into the liver. So that way it will not splatter as much. It might, no, it won't be as much, but it will splatter. Yeah, that's why you have to be careful. You don't want to burn yourself. Yeah. Okay, now we're ready to fry it. Gonna, gonna... Total is one cup of flour. Chicken liver go into the flour. I don't want to put too many because you get two or three pieces of chicken liver mixed up together that you, you want to be able to separate it. Okay, so you're coating them. Yeah. All right. And then you're going to put in hot oil? Put in hot oil and fry it for a couple of seconds. And they're done? Yeah, well, yeah, then we're going to make gravy because oh, they go gravy. back in the okay. gravy. They right. go back in the gravy. Okay. Yeah. So a pan of hot oil. Not too much oil. You pan fry it and not deep fry it. Just enough oil halfway to coat the liver. Yeah, and see, it's splattering. Mm -hmm. It stops splattering, so you put a lid on top. Okay, guys? Just turn it. Just turn the, turn the liver, Mom? Uh-huh. Let me see if I can get closer to It's not flying as much. Once it get in, it doesn't splatter once it get, you know. Oh, okay. It's, it's only splatter in the beginning. Yeah. All right. When do we know? When it get brown. When it get coated oh, okay. on, when it get coated on, brown on each side. And this is how it's going to look. Oh, okay. This is the way it's gonna look. It's the way you want it to look. That's it, see? Nice. Nice and brown. Yep. That didn't take that long. No, it doesn't take long for liver. From beginning to end, once you put in the fryers, I think it was only even not more than five minutes. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna, so it's gonna finish cooking in the gravy then. Nice. So you can shake the liver like this instead of mixing with your hand, right? Mm-hmm. Either way, it doesn't, you know, whatever that, that the uh, cook is comfortable with, you know. I'm just doing this for the last batch because it's not that much, much flour and I don't want to add any more flour. I'm going to go back in here again, put this in. And a little bit of flour that's left over, we're gonna use that for the gravy. Okay, so this low flour left, we're gonna use it for the gravy. Yeah. Nice. Mm 
they want to stir the chicken liver. Make liver. sure it get nice and coated on each side, brown on each side. You try to always have a lid on it because it's going to pop until it settles. All right. Put a lid on it so you don't get hurt. And it's spatter all over the wall. Yeah, and splatter. Let's clean up. So using using the same pan, you right. pour off the extra grease. Right. And we can use this pan to make the chicken liver gravy. Okay. All right, so now the pot is hot. Add all the onions. We're going to stir it until it gets a little soft. And then we'll add the excess flour for the gravy. With, with the seasoning, you can put, if you need more salt, you can put more salt in there. You know, it depends how much salt, salt you want. But after you make the gravy, you can taste it and see if the gravy is up to your taste. Salt and pepper. Now it's the excess flour that goes in there. This is for the gravy. Make sure it doesn't burn. You don't want it to burn. So medium high heat. Mm-hmm. You um you are browning the flour and the onion, and once it's tender, you're gonna add the gravy master. I'm gonna add just a little pinch of gravy master. Just a pinch. What does that do, Ma? It just give it a nice brown flavor. And oh, a nice, nice color. color, right? Yeah. Like a browning. Mm-hmm. If you don't have gravy master, you can use a browning. Sauce. Now we're going to add the water. So how much water? To cover the onions? Uh, yeah, to cover the onion. So the onions are fully covered in water. Mm -hmm. So it depends how much gravy you want, right? Yes. And how thick you want it. The flour with the flour. How much flour you want. I'll how much was the leftover flour, Ma? I would say about... I said about a, about a half a cup. Half cup? Okay. Now we're going to add the, the, the uh, livers in. Okay, the, the fried liver, you're going to add right in. You just want that to cook. That's it. Looks good. The mm. gravy, the onion. Gravy and onion looks good. Very nice. Now let's give it a taste. Let's taste. And that's it, Mom. Mm -hmm. It's done. You can eat now. Yeah. Taste the gravy. Make sure it's salty enough. If you want more salt, add the salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's salty enough. If you want more salt and pepper, you can add more salt and pepper. Okay, add more salt and pepper, whatever you like. But it's salt. Chicken liver and gravy, you can eat over white rice or grits, any way you like it. So this is over jasmine white rice. Looks delicious. Bon appétit.